What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. Hopefully you had a fun and safe New Year's with your friends and family or whoever else you decide to spend it with. And uh, hope, hopefully you're all alive and well here in 2016. But today uh, is the day before I leave for CES. It's Monday. Um, as I'm filming this, it's Sunday, but when you're watching this, if you're watching it on day of upload, it's probably Monday. I leave for Vegas tomorrow on Tuesday, and I'm going to be bringing a lot of stuff with me this year, probably more than I ever have before. Uh, I am bringing on an editor, a good buddy of mine. His name's Joe. He will be editing all of the footage for CES 2016 this year. Um, so I have a lot more stuff because he's coming with me, and I need to support uh, enough hardware for myself and him as well. Um, so that's pretty much what this video is all about. It's about what I'm bringing with me to CES, all the tech stuff anyway. I'm not going to tell you what, you know, what, what color underwear I'm bringing, um, but you know, maybe, maybe in the future. Uh, so on that note, I'm just going to dive right into it because there is a lot of stuff here, guys. I wish I could break it down for you in a, in a table of contents or something so you could just see which parts you're interested in, but it's really just chaos, so I can't really organize it that well. So starting off with this part of the table, I'm just going to go from left to right order. None of it is particularly more important than the other. It's all equally important when trying to cover a behemoth of a convention like CES. So starting with uh, the computer. So this is our stream box. This is what Paul and I use to stream episodes of Awesome Hardware each week. And we will be streaming again uh, on Tuesday in Las Vegas at my place. I'm not going to be staying at a hotel this year. I actually booked an Airbnb uh, for those of you who don't know what that is, you can Wikipedia it or look it up. Um, but basically, I'm going to be staying at a two- or three-bedroom condo, and we are going to be streaming, Paul and I are going to be streaming awesome hardware from that place. So obviously, we need a good streaming box. We're going to use the trusty streamer PC that we've been using at my place every other week, and uh, it's going to work out fantastically. It's got the Blackmagic capture card in there. We are going to have this monitor hooked up to it. It's a BenQ, oh, what's the model number? It's the XL2730Z. From BenQ, and uh, it is a 2560 by 1440 panel. It is a TN monitor, so it's super fast, but the color reproduction isn't all that great. Sorry if my camera's out of focus right now; it always does that. Um, but luckily, we won't really be using it for color correction. Like I said, it's just going to be for streaming. Uh, so we're going to have like web browsers up and stuff, and uh, XSplit things like that. Um, but this is going to be a secondary monitor as well for my editor. Uh, the other monitor I'm bringing, which is going to be his primary one, is that Qnix 2710 right over there beautiful panel that is ips also 2560 by 1440 so he'll have those two monitors side by side uh, at his disposal when editing which uh, i'm pretty sure he'll be happy about uh, apart from that we've got some peripherals here so starting with the mice we've got my wireless g602 this is pretty much my laptop mouse of choice uh, i did a brief kind of mini review on this in one of my peripheral roundup videos recently Excellent mice, uh, excellent mouse, I should say, that I'm going to be using. The Rocket Tion, also a great go-to uh, little pointer. It's, uh, it's, it's really handy. It's super comfortable. My editor might be using this. I'm also going to be bringing my G500 over there. I haven't put all the things I'm taking with me onto these tables here because I'm still using some of them. So I'm going to be bringing that guy along as well. I'm probably going to let Joe decide which one he thinks is more comfortable. Uh, we've also got a couple keyboards here. Uh, so we've got the 10 keyless Nova Touch from Cooler Master with the Nova Nova Touch switches. They're they're really really kind of a, an acquired taste, but I've I've grown accustomed to them at this point. Also the Vermillo, the Vermillo. Oh God, what's the model number of this thing? The Vermillo VA87M mechanical keyboard with Cherry MX brown switches. Uh, this thing's just super cool. Uh, pretty much the same form factor as the uh, the Nova Touch here. So uh, as you can see, we're really kind of going with portability in mind. Um, excellent keyboard. Both keyboards are great all around uh, choices, I think, for events like this. Obviously, you don't get that number pad, but I am trying to keep things on the slimmer side. So hopefully that'll do us, do us proud. Uh, we've also got some mouse pads here, apart from these... Uh, USB cables for the keyboards. Uh, we've got the Tech Syndicate one. Excellent keyboard. I like it because it's super thin. It's got stitched edges, a uh, nice rubber bottom, and it's got that badass Raise the World logo on, on the front there. Uh, we've also got my classic Crisis 3 mouse pads that have been here for quite some time. I've been using these throughout the years. Uh, they, they are really uh, small and portable as well. And then we've got a, a mixing board. I can't tell you the exact model number, but this is also for the stream. Uh, on Tuesday. This is from Monoprice. It's a great little board. It's a budget board. It's probably like 60 to 90 bucks, something like that. Monoprice was kind enough to sponsor this for us, for me and Paul, so can't tell you exact specifics, but excellent little mixing board. We've also got some sound monitoring materials here. So we've got my DT880 Pros, my trusty cans there, open back, semi-open back design, 
super comfortable velour ear pads, which I'm probably gonna let my editor use. And then I might be uh, hopping onto these K7XXs, just did a recent review of these, probably about a month ago from AKG. These are the mass drop editions, super clean sounding, great for music, but also great for editing. Uh, very, very clean sounding headphones all around. Next up, we've got the main editing system for Joe. So this is the Sleeper PC. Many of you guys might have recognized it off, right off the bat. Uh, it's compacted into this small but crappy and unsuspecting HP Pavilion case that is literally like 10 years old, now 11 years old, now that it's 2016. Uh, but that's why it's a Sleeper PC, because it's designed to look like crap, so nobody wants to steal it or ever thinks about touching it, uh, but the internals are just absolutely beastly. So we've got a Core i7-6600K, which is overclocked, as well as a Zotac Amp Edition GTX 980 Ti for all of our editing purposes. 16 gigs of RAM. You can go ahead and check out my video on that if you want more specifics, but I'm really excited to be using this. This is the first time I'll be using it out in the field, so I'm kind of curious to see how it performs, but it's already loaded up with uh, the full Adobe uh, Creative Suite for editing, Premiere Pro, Photoshop, After Effects, things like that. We've also got uh, a really long, this is probably a 50 foot ethernet cable that we'll be using in the, uh, not our hotel, but our Airbnb pad. It's always nice to have a direct connection there, especially when you're uploading videos on the fly. Uh, we've also got a few flash devices here. Well, well, we've got my SSD. This is an SP900 from Adata, uh, 512 gigabyte actually, and this has got all my assets on it, uh, important files and documents that I need for, for editing on the go, but it's it's in this really nice uh, Kingston enclosure. It's kind of sacrilegious to put an Adata SSD in a HyperX uh, enclosure, but there you have it. It is USB 3.0 as well, so get some nice transfer speeds there. Also, this little data traveler from Kingston, USB 3.0 flash drive, it's 32 gigs, got this a while back at another convention. Can't tell you if it was CES or Computex, but one of those complimentary gifts that had the uh, the press kit on it. So this has really come in handy for a lot of events. I've also got my trusty Nexus 7, my Asus tablet. This thing rocks. I love taking it everywhere I go, uh, whether I'm on a plane or just going to be driving somewhere far away. It's nice to have this uh, if I'm just, you know, chilling at the, at the, uh, at the pad, want to check some Twitters, reply to you guys on Instagram or whatever. Uh, it's also a really great asset to, to bring along. Uh, we've also got a few more wired things, just a basic extension cord. We've got a power strip here. Uh, which is really handy. We're going to have a lot of stuff being plugged in. So really, it's, I, I would highly suggest bringing a power strip uh, pretty much any time you go to an event where you're bringing a lot of gear. We've also got this Manfrotto monopod. Now, we're going to kind of get into the film equipment now, and I, I just did a recent uh, gear 2.0 update on the channel, so you can check that out for, for more details. But this is a really great monopod. Yep, black shaft. Uh, and then we've got my, my new Lumix GH4 from Panasonic. Excellent camera with a Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter lens with a small rig uh, handle right here attached to a, a 515 cage from Defocus Systems. Excellent little piece of, uh, piece of equipment there. Also my Sennheiser MKH416 microphone. Uh, this shotgun microphone is absolutely fantastic. It's got a little foam on here, so you can't really see it all too well. And I've got my three trusty lenses beyond the Sigma uh, for various shooting purposes. So I got my two Rokinon lenses, 35 and 24 millimeters respectively, and then a 60 millimeter macro lens from Canon. Uh, this is probably not gonna get used too much. I won't be taking too many super close up macro shots, but it is there in case I do need it. Moving on to the batteries for the GH4, we've got two of them here and there's already one inside of the camera. So we've got a total of three batteries to take with us on the go. Uh, the battery life on the GH4 is pretty awesome. Uh, from what I can tell from reviews and personal use, it's done. It's done. It's doing really well. Uh, leaps and bounds better than the 70D that I used to have. Uh, and I've got an AC adapter right there as well because we are going to be using this. Paul and I are going to be using the GH4 for the live show. Uh, so it's nice to have that adapter for continuous power. SD cards very important. We've got two 256 gig PNY Elite Performance. Uh, cards right there. They are rated for 4K at 95 megabytes per second. Should be more than enough, but just in case, I've also got 264 gigs, another 32, and then a uh, second 32 gig, which is actually in the uh, the point-and-shoot camera that I have right now, my RX100 M3 from Sony, which I will be bringing, but obviously I can't really show you that. We've got a simple camera brush right here for your lens in case it gets dusted during the event, which is always nice to have. Uh, a little Bose speaker. This kind of came with my phone as like a freebie. They just threw it in. It's actually a pretty decent sounding speaker, uh, Bose, I know it's, you know, it gets a lot of hate, gets a bad rap for being overpriced and stuff, which it is, uh, but this guy is, is super portable and it sounds decent enough to fill a room. So this will be nice listening to music while we're at the pad. Very cool. Uh, we've also got two MSI battery backups, uh, battery banks, 10,400 milliamps a piece. They're just simple, you know, USB type A and mini USB or micro USB, I should say. Do they need to be charged? Yes, they do. 
These are, these are very low. So I'll have to charge these before we go, but these are excellent to have on the show floor. Always bring backup batteries, guys. If you're gonna be using your phone a lot at conventions, which most of the time you are, tweeting out things and, and uh, posting on social media. Uh, also, moving back to, to over here. So you, you might realize that I have my microphone, but I don't have my DR40 Tascam recorder, which it's usually hooked up to. That's because I'm recording with it right now. I've got a lavalier mic attached to it as well. I will be bringing both of those. Uh, and this, this really handy thing, I think I stole it from Steve, uh, Steve OMG, but uh, basically attaches to your belt, and then you can screw on the uh, the recorder to 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 this thing, and it's a quick release latch. So you kind of just press it in, and then the whole recorder comes out for ease of handling, or you can just slap it back on your belt, so you can take it around. Really nice to have. Uh, also, we've got a handheld condenser mic. I couldn't tell you what model this is, but I used this for last year's CES, and I thought the audio quality sounded actually really good, considering you know the 50 to 100 bucks I paid for it. So I will be busting that that out again. Uh, you might be wondering why do I have a handheld mic and the Sennheiser shotgun? Uh, this is just for ease of use. Um, if let's say I'm at a, at a hotel suite, I'm not necessarily on the show floor. The suites and the in the little suites of the hotels, they're they're a lot quieter generally. There's not as much chatter and ambient noise, so usually you can get away with something like this just uh, directly mounted to your to your camera there but if you're on the show floor and it's super noisy as hell you might want a, ha a handheld mic to, to give yourself a bit more control and better positioning for that microphone so I brought both it's always good to have uh, both options in case you need it uh, moving on to the end of the line here pretty close uh, we've got my MSI GS60 Ghost Pro gaming laptop which is also a beast for editing I might add I did a recent review of this uh, MSI has really done themselves out uh, with with this model. It's just absolutely beautiful. Uh, runs like a champ. I think it's got a Core i7. It's, it's definitely Skylake and it's got a, a 970 GTX 970M in there as well uh, with three gigs uh, of, of VRAM. Uh, but also we've got, uh, let's see, we've got some more batteries here. These are just double A's that are going to be powering my DR40 with the uh, rechargers. You got there, they are rechargeable. So I've got Amazon brand, which are a little bit cheaper, and the Eneloop, which are a bit more expensive, but I think they, they do last a bit longer than the Amazon ones. I just kind of have both here. I've accumulated them over time. This is simply a bag for my RX100 M3, which again, I'm shooting with right now. Extra batteries and charger inside for here. And then we've got my delicious tripod. Uh, I'll put, I'll link all this stuff in the, the description. Can't tell you the model number off the top of my head, but it is the 055 series from Manfrotto. Excellent, excellent tripod. I actually just got this recently. Uh, this could have easily gone in my gear, gear 2.0 update, but uh, somehow I overlooked it. Excellent piece of equipment there, plus my uh, also Manfrotto 502 fluid head. This thing I've been using since, I don't know, 2013, and I, I don't see myself changing anytime soon because it's just a super smooth head. Uh, that uh, that works beautifully. Uh, and then we've got this uh, boom pole microphone for the live show to mic both me and Paul so that we sound excellent in the best way possible. You can hear our sexy voices by uh, just getting optimal positioning with that boom mic. It's a very nice uh, budget boom mic there. And then finally wrapping up, we've got my bags to carry all of this. After all, this is a what's in my bag video, right? So you got to have some bags. So I've got my Canon bag. This is a, a great bag. It's, it basically holds all my lenses uh, and the body. Uh, it's kind of funny though that now I've switched over to Panasonic. I'm still rocking a Canon bag. Uh, that's that's also kind of blasphemy, uh, but this is an excellent bag, super high quality, and it fits everything I need without being overwhelmingly large, which uh, a lot of a lot of other bags tend to do. Uh, that's kind of one of the compromises. And then I've got this Amazon Basics bag, super cheap. It's like 30 bucks. The quality isn't nearly what you'd find with the Canon bag. It is much cheaper. Um, I will say everything on it works works good enough, except for the zippers. The zippers can get snagged rather easily. Uh, but apart from that, the pocketing is really good. Really good pocket options and sizes all around. It's got a key ring, uh, a place for a 15.6 inch laptop, just like the Ghost Pro right over there. So it fits everything in a nice package uh, and it was 30 bucks. So I'm really not gonna complain much, but. There you guys have it. That is pretty much all the stuff. Here's one more overarching look. One more glance at all the things I'm bringing with me to CES. So yeah, it's um, it's gonna be fun. It's kind of exciting getting all this stuff prepared because it just it's just an indication of uh, the kind of like scale of of uh, the content I'll be creating for you guys and just how how much fun it's gonna be making all these videos. Uh, I will be pumping out significantly more videos this year than I did last year. Uh, last year I only did one video a day and um, I don't know, I think I just wasn't as prepared for CES then as I am this year. And uh, this year I'm probably gonna be pumping out anywhere from 10 to 15 videos over the course of 
uh, the entire week. So uh, I know that's not as much as some other YouTube channels are doing, but at the same time, it's a lot more than what I was doing last year. So I just wanted to give you guys a head up, heads up and let you know that I will be pumping out uh, some, some pretty heavy duty content, but hopefully it's good. I'm still gonna try to take a very mild and unprofessional approach to it, because that's just how I roll. Uh, I just don't have a professional bone in my body. Uh, that's probably why I work independently in my room. Um, but nonetheless, I've rambled on long enough as always. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know what you think of all this gear in the comments below, what your expectations are for CES, and I will be seeing you guys in the next video, which is going to be at CES in Las Vegas. So thanks guys. Love you all. Happy New Year once again, and I'll see y'all later.